We know about his laws of motion and of gravity, and also about his inventing calculus even independently of Leibniz. But here are ten more obscure facts about Sir Isaac Newton that they did not teach us in school. 1. Alchemical Pursuits Newton spent a significant portion of his life studying alchemy, an early precursor to modern chemistry. He believed that hidden knowledge could be obtained through alchemical experiments. 2. Eccentric Diet Newton's diet was unusual. He mostly subsisted on a combination of vegetables, dairy, and a little wine. His diet was often described as quite bland. 3. Counterfeiting Hunter in the late 17th century, during his tenure as warden and later master of the Royal Mint in London, Newton took on the responsibility of combating rampant counterfeiting, a grave economic threat to England at the time. With characteristic precision and determination, he dedicated himself to uncovering and prosecuting counterfeiters, using his keen intellect and investigative skills to identify and bring to justice those involved in the illicit production of false currency. His efforts not only helped restore faith in the nation's coinage, but also demonstrated Newton's commitment to upholding the principles of order and honesty in all aspects of life. 4. Bodkin Incident One of the more peculiar episodes in the life of the brilliant scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, was the infamous Bodkin Incident. In 1666, during his time at Cambridge University, Newton conducted a daring experiment with a metal bodkin, or needle, in his quest to understand the nature of color and light. He positioned the bodkin just behind his eye, applying gentle pressure to distort his vision and observe the effects on the colors produced by a beam of sunlight passing through a glass prism. This self-inflicted ordeal led to an excruciating headache and temporary vision impairment but it yielded invaluable insights into the dispersion of light and the concept of the visible spectrum, laying the foundation for his groundbreaking work on optics. This audacious experiment exemplifies Newton's unwavering dedication to scientific inquiry, even when it required putting his own well-being at risk. 5. Mintmaster's Salary Isaac Newton served as the master of the Royal Mint from 1699 until his death in 1727. In this role, he was responsible for overseeing England's coinage and currency. His salary as master of the Royal Mint was £1,200 per year, a substantial sum at the time, reflecting both his expertise in mathematics and his administrative duties. Newton's work at the Mint was not only instrumental in maintaining the integrity of the nation's currency, but also allowed him to apply his scientific rigor to practical matters of finance and coinage. 6. Newton cryptogrammed. Isaac Newton's secret writing, often referred to as the Newton cryptogram, is a testament to his fascination with cryptography. He developed a unique system of encoding messages, utilizing a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Newton used this cryptic method primarily for personal notes and letters, especially those related to his alchemical studies and private thoughts. The cryptograms were discovered long after his death and posed a challenging puzzle for scholars and cryptanalysts to decipher. While some of his coded writings have been decoded, many remain enigmatic, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the private world and inner thoughts of one of history's greatest scientific minds. 7. Pursuit of the Philosopher's Stone Newton was obsessed with finding the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary substance believed to turn base metals into gold and grant immortality. He even wrote recipes for its creation. 8. Coin Cataloging In addition to his duties at the Royal Mint, Newton took meticulous care in catalog and studying ancient and foreign coins, creating one of the most comprehensive numismatic collections of his era. 9. Unitarian Belief Isaac Newton was a Unitarian in his religious beliefs. He held non-Trinitarian views, which meant he rejected the traditional Christian doctrine of the Holy Trinity. Instead, Newton believed in the oneness of God and rejected the divinity of Jesus Christ. His Unitarian views were considered heresy by the mainstream Christian denominations of his time, which held to the Orthodox Trinitarian doctrine. Newton's theological writings reflect his Unitarian beliefs, and he was known for his emphasis on rational interpretation of Scripture and his rejection of traditional creeds and dogmas. 10. Predicted Return of Christ Believe it or not, Newton wrote more about theology than he did on science. 
In his theological writings, Newton speculated that the second coming of Christ might occur around the year 2060, primarily using part of the text of Daniel to arrive at this conclusion. However, these predictions were highly speculative and held no authority within the scientific or religious communities. We thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world.